Hi everybody, my name is Jia Wei and this is my friend Jess. We are both wildlife biology students and for World Vegan Day we decided to start make this video and she is a fresh transition. <laughs> she just turned vegan two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna set ourselves a little challenge, see if there are vegan options and whether we can actually eat in school as yeah. vegan. So we're gonna start the challenge now. What are your options that are vegan? Kind of corn um, people. Are they actually vegan before these? Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, nice. Okay. Do they like the catering? So we have I've vegan corn. In, in still. Oh, Linda. <laughs> we do, so we order a vegan selection every day, mm -hmm. which is normally four of the vegan sausage. There's four of the. There was a spiced Indian one as well. That was ah, oh. spiced Indian. So Sounds good. Oh! oh. Oh, we have sushi, vegan sushi. So vegan crisps yeah. and vegan snacks as well, so which I is good. Go hungry, yeah, <laughs> you definitely yeah. wouldn't go hungry. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So it's today like we sandwich. have vegan like corn, like vegan sandwiches, and vegan sushi as well. Okay, we're going to Students Union and see what they have out there. See what vegan options they have. We've arrived in the Students Union. This is the Students Union shop. That's the first stop that we're gonna go to check if there's any vegan options in the shop. Vegan, there you go. But yes, we have vegan chocolate here. Hazelnut clusters, raspberry and chocolate oat. Yeah. Vegan. You're vegan? Please. Amazing. Serious. Yeah. Um, and then I downloaded Is It Vegan? And what you do is you can scan products. So okay. Scan a bag of penne and it can tell you if it is or not. Oh. You found it? Aha, uh -huh, I see it. There we go. What's that? This is a vegan Moroccan pie? vegetable pasty. Ah, there's another area here where they also serve food. Apparently, they do serve vegan stuff. So just checking out the menu right now. Vegan shepherd's pie, falafel, possibly. Vegetable nuggets. Could have avocado and tomato without the bacon if you wanted a toasty or a roll. We are at crochets. Is this vegan or not? Yes. Two oh, so we see the hundred percent plant-based ones. So and in the recycled containers. Bowls. I had this. What's that? At the Cardiff Union barbecue jackfruit wrap, uh -huh. and it's spicy, but it's good. Okay, so alternatives are soy milk and oat over here. So you can substitute your milk for those if you are vegan. So what we found out is the cooks are also trying to bring in vegan snacks, like vegan chocolate, here so that the students or staff which are vegan they can enjoy so yeah there's always always a vegan option in in all of the places in uni honestly so with these little apps and tools and just by asking you can definitely get around uni being vegan so oh easily 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 very fine so now what we're gonna do now is we're going to jess's house and we're gonna cook something we're gonna do like spaghetti with meatballs but it's bean balls instead of meatballs, so I'm really curious on how that's gonna be because it's gonna be my first time eating bean balls. We're in Jess's house now. So you plan all your stuff, all your all the stuff that you're gonna cook for a week, is it? Over here and you uh, update them. Yeah. So I try and plan things so it kind of all flows together, and I try not to waste anything as well. <laughs> So is that a difficulty to get, um, because you have to make everything from scratch, do you think being vegan is kind of like a harder, um, alter, uh, uh, compared to vegetarian, it's harder like in terms of preparation? Yeah, so if, well, mm, yeah, I think if you want to cook like big wholesome meals every day, which is what we do, like I love to cook, it is hard. Well, I mean, I don't know, maybe other vegans will disagree, but like I find a lot of my time at the moment is like cooking in the evening and when you're really busy, like it can be difficult. Mm -hmm. But I think that's mostly because I'm still learning. So this is the book that we use. Bosh! Mm -hmm. Just gonna get some pasta and yes. we've got our ingredients over here. And so our vegan alternative for our meatballs is the black beans. Let's get started! So. Just, just pour it in the tomatoes and, the, and we have red, red wine. wine and it's already thickened with and the onions inside. Uh, water and tomato puree, so that's the sauce. And we're now gonna simmer that for with the bay leaf and oregano. Yeah, that's it's the bay all inside. Yeah, yeah. See it? Yep. so we're gonna boil that for 20 minutes. 
whilst we make noise. Okay, so obviously it doesn't look quite much at the moment and it's not. But yeah, once we add is. stuff to it, it'll be marvelous. Right, I'm not going to add this all because it'll be too oniony then. But I'll add all the garlic because I love garlic. And we'll add some onions. Okay, and then you want to roll it. Because we haven't added pasta, it's going to be quite wet. So the flour will keep them dry. And keep them hopefully in the ball shape. I mean ball. I made a vegan bean ball. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys our bean balls. They look proper, they look proper good. They do look like beef here. <laughs> Got this out of the oven. Yes! Oh, it looks so good on camera. Really? Yeah! Okay, so first impressions before we try it. <laughs> Go on. It smells nice. Mm, okay. I like it though, the taste is there. Yeah? Yeah. Would you eat it again? Definitely. Yeah? No. <laughs> so from um from both of them, like Aaron and Jess, so they taught me that as long as you just vary your diet. And so if you just like one day you eat maybe uh, rice with mushrooms. And then the next one, maybe you add a bit of tofu inside, and the next one you add beans inside. Then you do have enough protein, so that's the number one question that I actually got answered today. So, thank you guys. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and it's really good. So, good. 